guys, how you doing today? In this video, we're going to talk a little bit about ladder safety. So, hang in there, I'll be right back. Welcome back. So, we're going to get ready to clean these gutters, and as you can see, we got our ladder set up and we're all ready to go, right? Looks good. It's got a nice little degree to it, but let's talk about some safety. First thing you want to notice is that ladder's up on a gutter. Now, that's not really good, but we'll get to that in a minute. Very first thing you want to look at is your foundation. On closer inspection, you can see one of the feet is not on the ground properly. And over here on these stabilizers, one of the pins are out. So the first thing we'll talk about is the stabilizers. This ladder came with them. It's a Warner you know, Everlevel stabilizer. It came with the ladder. There's different types. But you always want a stabilizer. It keeps the ladder from going this way, okay, left and right. It's very important to have. This also has a little um, level built into it. And once again, all you do is lift the ladder up on one side, pull the pin till the foot falls down, then put the pin in place, and you look at the bubble, make sure it's level. Once again, that's going left and right. Also, you'll look up this roof. You'll notice I don't have a stabilizer that goes up on the roof attached. That's over here on the ground. Okay, That keeps the ladder from kicking out. You want to make sure you're about three rungs above the roof if you're going to walk up on it. But I want to see where that rung is right there, so now I can take the ladder down and put it that stabilizer on it. So let me do that, and then we'll show you what that looks like. So here we are with the ladder properly set up. As you can see, my stabilizers are all the way down, or levelers actually, and the feet are firmly on the ground. If I was out in the grass, I might have those feet like that sticking in the grass. I've checked my bubble, and that's about as close as I can get it to level, which is pretty good. Going up the ladder, you can now see the stabilizer is firmly up on the um, roof, so the ladder is not hitting the gutter. Also, the angle of the ladder, for about every four feet in height that you go up, you want your ladder out about a foot. I believe it's about a 75 degree somewhere. You have to look that up. So you make sure the angle is right. So now you're level left and right like this on the ground. you got the right angle like this and your stabilizer up there is going to keep you from getting a kick out. You can see once again I have at least three rungs going up case if I want to get up on that roof and mess around with those window sills or something. I can access that roof real good. Um, if I put my toes down here at the ladder and I reach out my hand should comfortably sit on this rung here. I shouldn't overreach or real hard to get so I know it's basically at the right level. You always when climbing a ladder want to have three points. So right now this is dangerous because I'm climbing with a camcorder which you don't want to do but you always want to have two foot in a hand so I'm coming up you know one at a time. Or you can lay your body against the ladder. Okay I don't know if you can see that. Lay your body against the ladder as a contact point so you're two feet in your body. So, but you can see once you get up, I'm not going anywhere. And now I can inspect the gutters and I can reach all over and get everything I need to get. And yeah, they're a mess. So we're going to have fun cleaning those out. So I just wanted to mention, guys, uh, there's going to be a link in the description for the stabilizer. Okay, they'll also be a link in the description for a set of levelers or maybe even this ladder with the leveler. I think this is a 24 foot ladder but more importantly I've been telling people for years about ladder safety and right now I know that ship poles um, and another guy called Outlaw Window Cleaner they all have programs going on right now that if you buy merchandise they donate to a fund called the Diego Garcia Fund now, I don't know this guy, Diego Garcia, but he's a window cleaner, um, you know, and like I showed you before, everybody gets pretty complacent about they just throw their ladder up and they get up on a roof, so I don't know the story behind it. I don't know if he had all the proper equipment or didn't. I don't know if he fell off the roof or off the ladder, but the point being, 
the man is now very, very ill in the hospital. He has a family to care for. Um, you know, there's no insurance that we know of from the employer, unfortunately. So all these companies that I just mentioned, Outlaw Window Cleaner, you can check him out on YouTube. Uh, Reach It Polls, they're all having fundraising. Then there's a, a um, GoFundMe page. And I'll tell you all about that, or put a link about that down in the description. So help a brother out. Donate a couple bucks to that guy. And uh, take care of yourself, man. Those ladders are nothing you know, to mess around with. They look simple, and you run up and down them every day. But they're the most dangerous tool you're probably using. Hey, everybody. Thank you so much for watching my videos. I really hope you enjoy them. If you have a comment or a question, leave it in the comments section below. I'll be glad to answer it as soon as I can, or maybe one of my subs will. But remember, please hit that subscribe button that's going to pop up, and YouTube is going to put more videos for you to watch over here. So enjoy yourself, grab the popcorn, and just remember, we really appreciate you being part of our family and subscribing to our channel. All the support you give us has been wonderful. So have a great day, and we'll see you on the next video.